Hello, hello. Welcome to a new game for a channel. So this one, I think we're going to have to do a bit differently. Oh, here we go. And transform. Look the screen. So this is a little game called Grim's Hollow. It's very cutesy. It looks like it. But it, I hope, uh, but it has very much an inspiration from, uh, Undertale and games like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide myself right over there, and we'll go ahead and begin. And I believe it's made in RPG Maker, which is why it looks like this. Still? Mm-hmm. 13 plus people. Controls are pretty simple. Alright. This is the regular mode recommended for Grim Hollow. It's recommended for those who have experienced with turn-based combat or prefer difficult battles. I don't think this is going to be bad. Alright. Must be in. Wake up. Welcome, new reaper. So I'm trying to. I'm gonna play a couple of horror games today because I didn't know what to play. We're so happy to have you join us. It's been such a long time since we've had a new face. What? Who are you people? We're your new friends. I'm calling the police. Wait. I don't have a phone. Why is she acting like that for? Grim hasn't given her, her the lowdown yet, remember? Oh. Oh, good thing we have balloons. Everybody loves balloons. Where are my balloons? Crap. Everyone's shoe. Grim, must we? No parties are thrown until the newbie is initiated. And no party is thrown without me. Especially with my balloons. Uh, come now, everyone. Out. There will be cake later. I love how just the mention of cake and everybody's. I'm sorry if I scared you. They're a bit overwhelming. What is happening? Right. I get straight down to it. You're dead. Huh? You're dead. No. I heard you, but. Why are you here? Well, unfortunately, your spirit has been... isn't strong enough to move on. Here in Grim Hall, spirits such as yourself help deliver ghosts to become stronger. Ghosts? People whose spirits is too strong, making them frenzied and unwilling to go. We reap those, and, uh... It's a topic for another time. For now, you need rest. There are fresh robes for you on the bedside cabinet. The local baker also has also been kind enough to give you some donuts and cookies free of charge. Unfortunately, we don't have them. Wait. Do you know where my brother is? Timmy? Sorry, little one. I don't know a Timmy... But if I meet a Timmy, I will let you, or I will tell you. Have a good rest. I can't stay here. This may be some sort of weird cult. I should put on the robes so I can blend in and escape. Oh, awesome. Stepping animation, though. 
对对对对对对对。I can help you. I saw Timmy in a cave. A cave? Yes. It's where the Reapers go to. Oh god. Don't worry. He was safe last time I saw him. Where can I find him? Which way? Just go, go left to exit out of town. And then head to the first cave you see. You'll find him there. But do me a favor and don't tell anyone I was here, yeah? You know, those Reapers. They're kind of nuts. I unlock the door for you. Good luck. Thank you. Oh. me? I was just looking, trying to look out the window. I've never seen a view like this when I was alive. No sun, no moon, no concept of time, day, night. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to freak you out. Sorry, I don't want to talk. I hate to wake my partner. He needs to restore his willpower. I can't tell whether they're asleep or awake. Welcome to Grim's Hollow. Hello, my friend. Who are we supposed to be in? I was... My... <laughs> oh, hello. My friend and I were supposed to meet at the bakery to eat some pastries. But I think they stood me up. Now, it's just me and my new friend, the balloon. Oh, sorry. Have you seen Timmy? Sorry, there are no reapers called Timmy in the hollow. You can trust me on that one. I know all of my customers. And, uh, who's asking you? Is no one. Are you a Reaper? Technically, I am. I don't have enough spiritual energy to pass on. But I don't reap ghosts. I prefer to bake. So they call me Baker. Please. Why is there a Baker here? Reapers don't need to eat to survive. But even if we're dead, we still get tired. A reaper, or a reaping can be very draining if it is difficult. So I will sell bread to restore his willpower during the reaping. That way, reapers don't faint out of exhaustion. They can spend more time collecting spirit energy from ghosts. All I ask in return is I get a small portion of the spirit energy so one day I may pass on myself. This is an agreement Grim and I made when we were discussing opening the bakery. Grim's job is, after all, to make sure everything in the hollow house is on. Though, really, I didn't take much to convince Grim to let me bake and start reap. He sounds like a good guy. All I had to do was give him a taste. Broski, I've been thinking, if all we do is eat, how are we able to process us all the sugar? Shouldn't we be fat from all these carbs or something? There's no such thing as carbs when you're dead. Now shut up and eat your cake. I'm trying to eat a donut. Go away. So I think I said go left. I'll take off my mask. Timmy, are you ah? Uh, wow, that fresh race. You must be a newbie. Yes, Sam. Can you help me? If you're looking for another Reaper here, I'll have to. You'll need a scythe. Here, take mine. Thanks, but play. Oh, heads up. You should. Yeah. Give me a combat tutorial. That's a ghost. Unlike us, it's. Way too much spirit energy. We need to reap that energy right off of it. Wait, what? Why? It can't pass on otherwise, poor thing. It, all that energy is tormenting it. Now pay attention. Start swinging to start your reaping. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, down on the arrow key. Okay. Interesting game. Yeah, we two spirit energy. What was that flash just then? That means the spirit energy collected. Sorry, those are eyelids. Look. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Or you can use them to learn new special moves for combat. Uh, press X and select a new spirit. Once the Reaper has collected it, finally move. Anyways, you should hold up and go fight Timmy. I'm sure he's missing you. If you ever need any extra help, I'll be around. And don't worry about dying. We're already dead. <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. This is the first one. timing. Spirit energy for that. Definitely want to upgrade speed. Looks like. There we go. This way. Oh, there's somebody here. There's no ghost caves sometimes have ghost walls. These are illusionary walls which hide secret energy. You can make them disappear by facing a wall and pressing Z. Try not to get lost. Here, there's a ghost around all. But I poke this prod in this wall with my scythe and nothing is happening. Oh, 
Okay, I see. It's a meow. Oh, you fucking double scratch. Why am I just being meow? to do it before it gets to the white bar. I know that sounds dumb, it's like arcs, but you know what I mean. Fun little game. I was afraid that it would be. I don't know. Delicious food. Here we go. 
Basically, he's the- you must be too, this tall to ride this ride. Okay. Just making sure. So cute. We'll only play this for like an hour and then if it even gets that long and then we'll do Dark Deception. If this does take longer than an hour then I'll definitely come back to this. Very happy. He's very unhappy that he lost to a ghost, but he's happy enough to be saved. Come on, Jerry. Out of the way. reading the abilities.
This game is very cutesy, and it does remind me a lot of Undertale, which I take a lot of inspiration from, or Deltarune probably. At least it's art style anyways. Speed by a bit. Could have sworn there's some engines around here somewhere. There. It's right here. There we go. Timmy, where are you? Lavender? Is that you? Timmy! Lavender! Hold on! I mean to get you. Oh no, you're not. You remember me. You met me not long ago at the inn. Well, I think you'd care. You'd. Uh, I, well, I wouldn't think you'd care. You just reaped a dozen ghosts just like me. Alright, thanks for your help, but I'd like to collect my brother. Collect! That's a nice word for reap. Huh? No. You should never have- I should never have helped you. You're just like the other reapers. I just want to take my brother and go home. Let me through. No, you've done enough harm. No, you're- You're not reaping him. If it's the last thing I do. Oh my. What the heck? I pressed the down button. See? It's not letting me... Oh! may not be adequate enough to fight him. That might be what this is. See, I pressed down. Thank you. 
Oh my. Ooh. Oh, you're still there? Oh my god, um, what's with your eyes? Hmm? Lavender? Are you okay? You can't be a ghost. I mean, Lavender. Why are you crying, Lala? Him. Yeah. Hide inside my pocket. Whatever you do, do not come out until I say something. Stay invisible. Otherwise, I don't know if I can protect you. Is that clear? Okay. There we are. Where were you? I was worried sick. Figuratively speaking. That is, I can't be sick. Alright, I went for a walk. I wanted to stretch my legs. I see. Well, now that you're up, I may as well invite you for tea. I don't suppose you mind walking a bit further. <sighs> yeah, I'll go have tea with you. Excellent. So, Lavender, which of these treats are your favorite? Is it the cookie? The cake? Are you into muffins or donuts? The baker is dying to know. Wait, that's not the correct word. Pardon me. He's eager to know, yes. Mmm, cookie. Ah, yes, that's the first thing I ever made. And was it also the last on account of me setting the oven on fire? As they say, as the living say, that's just the way the cookie combusts. Uh, Mr. Grimm, I've got a question. No need for formality, you may call me Grimm. That's cool. Can a ghost or a reaper ever live again? No. Unless, unless? They have a soul. I don't understand. Don't we have souls? No, I'm afraid you're all just spirits. There's a difference. When you die, your soul disintegrates because you don't need it anymore. All that's left is the spirit, which makes you either a ghost or a reaper. But every now and then, there is beings who arrive with a soul completely intact. Normally, when this happens, I redirect, it, I redirect them back to life. This is a rare occurrence, of course. Anyways, a long tea? Uh, yes. A long tea. It smells nice. Do you have any more questions? Why were you mad about the balloons? Ha! Ah, you remember that. Well, I wanted to throw you a party first. I was going to set up the balloons in this room right here, but I looked in the closet, and all the balloons were gone. Are you a god? No, I'm most certainly not. As far as my cars go, I can teleport a certain distance, I can reap ghosts very well, but other than that, I can't do a lot of things. I can't bake, for example. Such is an amazing thing. How did you I die? I don't know that. I'm afraid I don't know anything. I don't see anything that which happens on Earth. What happens after I pass on? I guess it's as good as yours. I have never seen the afterlife, only uh, delivered spirits to it. Oh. I'm good. Usually, or you know, usually new reapers don't tend to believe any of this is real. If they do, they start assuming we are a cult. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the masks. But it seems you've taken to the idea rather quickly. That's because I saw Timmy as a ghost after that. And so, I feel rather concerned, as you know. Uh, what are you trying to say? Simply whether you're alright, Lavender. I simply care about all my reapers, including yourself. I'm... Alright. Really. Very well. Baker, you did not need to sneak into the closet for my ingredients, you know. But, you looked busy. I was running out of flour. How would you like to teach Lavender to read? I mean, I would like to help. 
but I don't fight, Grim. You better off asking someone else. You don't have to fight anyone. What if they faint? You're the fastest person in the hollow next to me. You can run out there carrying them. Well, okay. Excellent. Lavender, when you're ready, talk to the baker at the bakery. I'm going to put away the ingredients. See you later, Lavender. This is a cute game. Very adorable. It's surprising that it's free, and that uh, I've never seen it before. Stiss, I need to talk to you. You peek down in your hoodie pocket. What that guy said about having a soul. I had one too? But Timmy, everyone used to have, have that. No, but I had one when I arrived. What? I remember waking up in the cave, and when I looked down, it looked like a person. Like I used to. Everything was kind of glowy, like a greenish glow. And then, other ghosts came into the cave, and they were scary, and they started chasing me, so I started running. They blacked up, and when I woke up again, I felt light, and I couldn't see myself. I think my soul is still in there, however. Somehow I feel it. Maybe that ghost took it. I believe you. I'll try to find out. Thanks, sis. Now shush. I need to go. I'll look like crazy if I get caught talking in my pocket. You look crazy anyways. You stick out like a, your tongue and immediately close your pocket. Hey, Lavender. Just finished setting up to go. You ready? Oh, that's a problem. Did Grim give you a scythe? Honestly, he's a bit forgetful sometimes. Yeah, I've got a scythe. Uh, just not for Grim. Okay. So we're going to the second cave. The one that's on the top of the hill. Let's get going. The baker has joined you. Mm -hmm. Wait, get up. Up now. I don't wanna, too tired. Sorry, but this case closed. It's brimming with exploding ghosts, large gaps, and broken bridges. Until Grim finishes restoring it, this area is off limits. How much do I want to bet his soul is in there? Hey, right, Lavender, I'm going to teach you how to read, so. Or you could just do that. Is that it? Well, no. If you close your eyes, yeah. Hold on, Amy. I'm not leaving until the well. Or we, well, clear this cave. Every newbie does it. Besides, I need to care of you if you faint. Uh oh. And on top of that, there's something I want to show you. Hmm, what is it? I, can t I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Either way, Lavender. Also, a friend down here. Last time I saw them, they were chasing the, a waterfall. Please let me know if you find them. Interesting. Spirit energy. What do I want to use that for? Oh, yeah, a bunch of spirit energy. Uh, and 
intimidated ghosts and gain their willpower. Yes, I want that. what I'm talking about. we can do. Unlocking is a bitch. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got milk. with us or you need to have an AOA attack. Six. Holy cow. Now it needs 50. Oh, jeez. I'm just going to hold on to my spirit points then. Aww. There we go. Oops. 
I'm sure there's a pacifist run or something like that that's supposed to happen, but but I just wanted to kind of go through this one time as I would normally would. All right, let's go ahead and improve flinching. Now what? Stats just to have them up. There we go. All right. Offense swing is a very useful ability, and I hope it will continue to be so. But just to make it so that way it's even more effective. Baker and Lavender. Right. Wait. 
Baker, why are you here? I thought you were a wimp who hated ghost caves. Excuse you, I prefer to call myself an artist. Upright. <laughs> Anyways, nice to meet you, Lavender. Here. Have some donuts. And don't feel... Or don't feel weak. See ya. You, I've been here for a while, Lavender, but I'll never understand that jump. I don't have to think about it. Right. The... Go ahead and take some little power cookies. Strengthen in action. This is such an interesting game, and I would love to continue it. But we are almost done with this part of the episode. If we have more time, I might come back to it, but. It's fun little games and it's very cute. And I'm definitely interested in kind of seeing where it goes. There we go. Anyways. Nope. Alright. We'll definitely come back to this. Don't worry. I definitely like this game. Uh, it's cute and it's fun. And I would like to finish this. I don't think there's too much more. But you never know. Um, uh, and then we'll go ahead and open up the other game. Dark Deception. Give it a second while it finishes what it's doing. Oh. oh no. Hold on, what's happening? Hold on. It's my headset's uh, gonna have to go on my face. That's right. It's one of these games. Oh, I forgot. Give me a second. I got this. Okay. Hold on. Hold on a second, guys. Give me two seconds. Over the face. This is mouse and keyboard, but with to redraw the layer. Yay. Give me one second, guys. There we go. So 
but this is a mouse and keyboard game. Uh, okay. Any second now. Uh, fix this. Yeah, right there. And then change it from to mark the two. I don't know why though it's not loading in VR. So let's change the Interesting. Not allowing me to open it here. Where's that? Let's try this again. Sorry, guys. Give me a minute. No. All right, let's try this again. Good. This is not going to let me do it. Oh, what should do? Okay, that works.
Da. It's not loading in the VR. That's really weird. It's trying to load in VR. But it's not. Doing it successfully. It keeps pulling it back out. But whatever. We won't play with the VR. It's fine. Where's my headset? Where did my headset go? Oh. Here, around the other one. That's okay. Uh, you guys can still hear me. Hopefully, yes. Okay. Just... Mm-hmm. It's done. Now oh, my faith lies in darkness. Come on. Which Another one. How nice to have some company again. Come over here. Let's have a look at you. You disappoint me, love. You really do. Oh. So many fears. So many desires. I thought you'd be bigger. Don't look so confused. What the? I know everything you've got hidden in that brain of yours. I know all the terrible things you've done. I mean, I'm so a big guy, many but... good intentions laid to waste. I could see the regret eating away at your soul. Wow, she's <laughs> really hitting hard. But now your time has come, and here you are. To grovel and beg. She really oh, likes a punch in the nuts. Only death awaits you there now. Fear not, love. You've got potential. I see it in you. And I can help change your fate. But if you want a new life, you're going to have to suffer quite a bit to get it. Don't worry about it. The pieces to a powerful ring are hidden in nightmares behind each of these portals. Find them and bring them to me, and you'll get your wish. Fail, and you'll find there. Um. Hold my mouse sensitivity higher. Thank you. This is um, can I go back now? Our fate's far worse than death awaiting you here. Yeah, I figured. Oh no, is there anything up there? This is literally just the door. Um, I'm assuming that that's where you want me to go. Alright. So I know a little bit about this game. It's basically Pac-Man, but jump scares. But I figured I'd play it anyways, because... Who doesn't like a good jump scare? Monkey business.
what a charming little hotel. Bring back any memories? No. Oh boy. What is that? Sound. Oh boy. Screechy monkey. Going up. Going somewhere in the Eldritch world. Soul shards, uh -huh. fragments of human spirit scattered throughout the halls. Oh, look at him. Each crystal is a remnant of one who has met their end here. Gather them all, mm. and the first ring piece will be yours. One more thing you are not oh. alone. There are monsters in here, and they're looking for you. Yeah. Here, you'll need this. It can detect each shard's location. It was left by the last guest to disappoint me here. A very clever girl. Just not a very fast runner. Enough instruction. Break those boards and let's get this party started. I hear something. Oh! I ran right into you. I was like, I heard something. But I didn't know which way it was coming from. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. Oh. Oh no. He's behind me. He's behind me. He's behind me. He's behind me. Oh. A hundred card. Oh, a hundred shirt streak. Okay. 
Nope, oh, I heard that. Heard you coming, heard you coming. Nope, there's nowhere I can go. <sighs> oh. Okay, last life. The first time I was caught, it was pretty bad. circles for a little bit. Oh. oh, I'm about to be cornered. Yep. Restarts the whole. I just okay. I thought it meant restart the challenge, not restart the whole thing. All right, whatever. Okay, I don't know why I'm listening to that. I'm not even using that mic. map in an hour. I'll just, I'll try at least. Oh uh, yeah, I know. Uh, you know what, let's try this way this time. more worried when I don't hear the music. Yep, yep, yep. Hoping to hop around that corner before you got there. But damn it. You anyway. To a freaking wall. Uh. <sighs> All right. That was terrible. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, all 
get to a house with all secret rooms because if not then that might actually be very useful Can they get through in this room? No, they can't. Can't leave. Yep. Dead already. Couldn't leave. Fuck. But that was interesting. It was an interesting Alright. Got fourteen left. I can do this. Five, four, three, two, next one's, no, 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 this way, no, 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 fuck. You're making it pretty easy to root for the monkeys. Ah. Fuck.
Oh. Oh no. Let's check point. Okay, good. I don't have to do all that over again. Oh no. Oh no. He is literally on top of that thing. Two secrets. <sighs> that was actually really difficult. I see you met my friend sooner than I was expecting. Beers. Still so persistent after all this time. Do not listen to her. She's just using you. No shit. Give her the ring and there will be consequences. This is your only warning. Help her, and you will suffer. Yeah, well, I'm no, suffering already. Him. His powers cannot reach you here. The ring piece. Place it on the table. Now! The ring is called the Riddle of Heaven. An ironic name, don't you think? Hadina's yeah. power is contained inside it. The creature of infinite cruelty that you just met. Malak. Yeah. Complete the ring, and you can use Malak's power to fulfill your darkest desires. Or so the legend goes. Yeah, I have a feeling that that's not exactly how it works. Alright. Eight more pieces to go. Are you ready for another nightmare? Never. Oh, that's the end of the chapter. I only played for the free game, so... Uh, you have to buy the different chapters in order to complete the game. But... That was interesting. It was Jump Scare Central, and it was more about the anxiety of being jump scared than the actual jump scare itself. It wasn't that scary. Oh, and the picture changed. Alright, well. Thank you for uh, joining us on this little uh, fun adventure. Uh, if you guys really like the Grim Hollow game, that was a really adorable little game. Uh, go ahead and, you know, let me know. 
Alright, I'm gonna log out. You all have a good one. Bye then.